hello everyone welcome to the mathematics in my channel in this video we are going to solve this uh, nice integral uh, we were suggested integral integral from 0 to 1 arc sine of x times natural log of x over the square root of x well uh, first i'm going to uh, define an integral so i'm going to take j is equal to integral from 0 to 1 x to the uh, v arc sine of x arc sine of x dx okay uh, then i am going to differentiate both sides with respect to v so we have uh, here v is equal to uh, now we have integral from 0 to 1 uh, if we differentiate uh, we have x to the v times natural log of x times arc sine of x dx okay then uh, if we plug in minus one half so here partial derivative of uh, j when v is equal to minus one half so here we have integral from zero to one now uh, we have arc sine of x arc sine of x natural log of x x to the minus one half we know uh, we can write in the denominator square root of x dx and we know this is uh, our integral i so uh, we have now i is equal to i is equal to uh, partial derivative of j with respect to v when v is equal to minus one half okay uh, then let's take uh, this integral uh, we have uh, partial derivative of j with respect to v we know this is equal to uh, partial derivative with respect to v integral from 0 to 1 x to the v arc sine of x dx okay then uh, now this integral i am going to uh, use ibp so here uh, now uh, as a first function i am going to write arc sine of x uh, then integration of x to the v we know x to the v plus 1 over v plus 1 from uh, 0 to 1 then minus uh, here integral from 0 to 1 now uh, we should write x to the v plus 1 over v plus 1 then derivative of arc sine of x we know 1 over square root of 1 minus x square dx okay then uh, here if we apply limit uh, we know uh, we have when uh, upper limit x approaches to 1 uh, here arc sine of x you know pi over 2 so we have pi over 2 times 1 over uh, v plus 1 then minus here v plus 1 constant so 1 over v plus 1 integral from 0 to 1 uh, here x to the v plus 1 over 1 minus x square so i am going to take a, a substitution let's take x square is equal to t then if we differentiate 2 times x dx is equal to uh, dt so we can plug in uh, now x we know t to the one half so t raised to the v plus 1 over 2 over 1 minus t uh, here is square root uh, then dx uh, dx we know dt over 2 times x x we know t to the uh, one half uh, here parenthesis well uh, then let's simplify uh, here partial derivative with respect to v here we have uh, pi over 2 times 1 over v plus 1 uh, then we have minus 1 over v plus 1 integral from 0 to 1 here we have uh, t to the here v plus 1 over 2 here t to the 1 half so v over 2 over 1 minus t raised to the uh, 1 half here d t then uh, here pi over 2 we know constant and here partial derivative with respect to v 1 over v plus 1 uh, here minus uh, partial derivative with respect to v 1 over v plus 1 times 
now uh, this integral so we know uh, this is familiar with us because uh, we know about the beta function uh, beta of a b beta of a b is equal to integral from 0 to 1 t to the a minus 1 times 1 minus t to the b minus 1 t t so here uh, now uh, we have v over 2 so we know v over 2 is equal to uh, a minus 1 so uh, a is equal to v over 2 plus 1 a is equal to v over 2 plus 1 uh, then uh, here 1 half so we know minus 1 half is equal to minus 1 half is equal to now uh, here we have b minus 1 so b minus 1 so b is equal to uh, we have 1 minus 1 half so 1 half therefore we can write this integral by using beta function so we have beta of 1 plus v over 2 comma 1 half okay uh, here we have uh, 2 so I missed uh, this 2 so here uh, we have 1 over 2 here again uh, we have 1 over 2 sorry for that uh, so okay then uh, here we can uh, differentiate so we have pi over 2 then if we differentiate 1 over v plus 1 we know we have uh, minus 1 over minus 1 over v plus 1 uh, perfect square then here uh, minus uh, one half now uh, we have a product of uh, two functions so uh, we should apply a product rule uh, before it here we have a beta function so the derivative of a beta function we know uh, partial derivative with respect to x beta of x y is equal to beta of x y uh, times digamma of x minus digamma of x plus y so we can write here one half uh, times now i am going to rewrite first function one over v plus one uh, then derivative of uh, beta function here the coefficient of uh, variable we know one half so we have one half uh, beta of beta of 1 plus v over 2 comma 1 half times uh, digamma of uh, x uh, so we have 1 plus v over 2 minus digamma of uh, here we have uh, x plus y so 1 plus v over 2 plus uh, 1 half so we have 3 over 2 plus uh, v over 2 then uh, plus here uh, now rewrite second function so beta of 1 plus v over 2 comma uh, 1 half then derivative of 1 over v plus 1 we know minus 1 over v plus 1 perfect square okay uh, then let's take uh, j partial derivative of j with respect to v when v is equal to minus uh, one half so we have uh, now here uh, one minus one half uh, we know one half so one over four and uh, two get cancelled so we have minus two times pi minus two times pi uh, then here minus uh, one half now 1 over v plus 1 so 1 minus 1 half so we have 1 half and uh, these two uh, get cancelled so we have uh, beta of uh, now 1 minus uh, 1 over 4 so 3 over 4 comma 1 half then uh, digamma of 1 minus 1 over 4 so we have uh, 3 over 4 minus uh, digamma of 3 over 2 minus uh, 1 over 4 so 5 over 4 then minus uh, because here we have a minus sign so uh, beta of beta of 
uh, we know 3 over 4 comma uh, 1 half over v plus 1 square so 1 over 4 so here uh, we have 4 uh, then uh, we know uh, here minus 2 times pi uh, minus 1 half now we can take uh, beta function as a common factor so uh, beta of 3 over 4 uh, comma 1 half uh, times now here we have a diagram of 3 over 4 minus diagram of 5 over 4 minus 4 here we have diagram of 3 over 4 minus uh, diagram of 5 over 4 so in the previous video uh, we discussed uh, about uh, the diagram of function values so uh, let's take the recurrence relation of uh, diagram of function we know diagram of 1 plus c is equal to diagram of c uh, plus 1 over c then uh, let's call the uh, reflection formula of diagram of function diagram of 1 minus c is equal to uh, diagram of c plus pi times cotangent of pi c so now uh, if we plug in um, no uh, let's take diagram of uh, 5 over 4 so diagram of 5 over 4 we can write diagram of 1 plus 1 over 4 then uh, we can apply uh, recurrence relation so we know this is equal to uh, diagram of 1 over 4 plus 4 then uh, let's take uh, diagram of 3 over 4 so this is equal to uh, diagram of 1 minus 1 over 4 and uh, now we can uh, use reflection formula so here diagram of 1 over 4 uh, plus pi times cotangent of uh, pi over 4 we know cotangent of 5 over 4 is equal to 1 so here we have pi now uh, here if we subtract this we have uh, diagram of 3 over 4 minus diagram of 5 over 4 is equal to uh, now pi over 4 pi over 4 so uh, we can plug in now uh, here we have minus 2 times pi uh, minus one half uh, beta of 3 over 4 comma one half we know the relation between beta function and gamma function gamma of 3 over 4 gamma of one half over gamma of 3 over 4 plus one half uh, times uh, here uh, this part we know pi minus 4 here minus 4 so pi minus 8 okay then uh, here if we simplify this we know gamma of 3 over 4 plus 1 half uh, is equal to uh, gamma of uh, 5 over 4 so gamma of 5 over 4 we can write uh, gamma of 1 plus 1 over 4 and this is equal to 1 over 4 gamma of 1 over 4 so we can write uh, here minus 2 times pi uh, here 1 over 4 here 1 over 2 so uh, get cancelled so we have minus uh, 2 times here pi minus 8 gamma of 1 half we know uh, square root of pi so square root of pi times gamma of 3 over 4 over uh, here we have uh, gamma of 1 over 4 Okay, this is the answer for this integral. If you like this type of videos, please subscribe this channel. Thank you for watching.